Good evening everybody, we are back with a brand new video and today we are going to be doing another episode in our Haunted House series. We are not going to mention my hair, it is very yellow, I think it either needs another bleach or it needs maybe some purple shampoo or anything like that. But we are not going to mention it, I wanted to get a video today out for you guys so I'm just going to completely ignore my hair because it does not look very good at the minute. But just as a little recap, if you missed our last episode, we did manage to save up enough money to get a clothing line which is pretty handy. We have about 300 simoleons at the minute so the plan is as well to buy another thing today and obviously the plan is to try and get enough money together so that we can cover all the windows in the bedroom and that we can buy a shower which then means that we can finally get a job. Of course it can only be a part-time job if you would like to play along the challenge is in the comments below. Of course this is our trial run for this actual challenge it hasn't been tested before so this is the test. If you are playing along with me and you have any suggestions please let me know in the comments below and I will take them into consideration when we then make amendments to the actual challenge. But let's crack on and see what we can complete for today. So we are actually starting off in the middle of the night because my sim woke up in the middle of the night and he is starving and apparently very dirty. So we need to kind of work out what we're going to do there. It is pitch black in here because obviously we don't have any lighting. So let's see if we can work out a way to fix those problems. I'm going to, I guess, start out by just washing our hands like a bajillion times in order to actually make him cleaner. This is a pretty quick technique of doing it where we don't actually have to worry too much about having a shower. Obviously it is much easier to have a shower and I think it's actually like much quicker as well. I don't know what this incoming discovery quest thing is. I don't know if you guys can see it but it's like, oh is it scoring smellies? If you start scoring smellies discovery quest as part of the discovery quest you'll, uh, you'll learn how to to get an, and I don't want that that sounds boring that's just teaching me stuff so we're gonna just go through and just get him nice and clean and then after he's washed his hands a bajillion times we can go over and make some food I guess I don't know why he woke up in the middle of the night needing all of these things but let's make a little garden salad I don't think we have proper electricity at the minute so there is no point in him making I guess something that he can then put in the fridge for later okay good good so he's made his little fruit salad -y thing or regular salad thing and then he also needs the loot so we are just going to quickly speed through that he has had enough sleep so that's absolutely fine we can get to work with the rest of the day he is now unhappy because he ate some poorly made food it's a salad i don't know how you can mess up a salad that bad maybe he just didn't add enough croutons so he has kind of low like social but i mean that's not the end of the world we can kind of deal with that it's okay. So obviously our goal was to get a shower. I have 700 simoleons now. I don't know if that's because it came from like that weird challenge that I didn't actually end up doing anything for. Bit odd. I'm not too sure what that is. I think it's actually new but we have enough now that we can buy a shower but we're also off the grid so I'm gonna have a look and see if there's actually is a shower that we can use that's off the grid. Okay so quite a lot of these are actually functional off the grid. What's like so obviously these ones you this one is functional off the grid makes sense because it's like a specific one for like the outdoor retreat pat thing so that kind of makes sense this one is apparently also functional off the grid and i actually kind of like this one i think it looks a lot nicer in comparison to the other ones i'll definitely upgrade it later but that's definitely what i want to get for now we can then get our little barrel thing and i am just going to move it over here so we can fit our shower in this corner so now we finally have a shower which is pretty exciting i am glad we have that shower now you know just like i could have probably bought it before washing my hands like a bajillion times but we have a shower now and I think obviously we've got 338 um like simoleons left I think what could also be good is my sim somehow has like taken off their entire wardrobe of clothes even though they only have the same outfit because we haven't actually gotten any new clothes yet so I'm gonna just grab literally all of these and we're gonna do a quick wash of our clothing as well I think there is also random clothing over there too so now we can go ahead and do our wash and of course we're gonna wash it in our little tub then we're gonna go load it up on our little clothes line obviously our brand new one that we've just purchased hopefully even though I don't know if it like it being winter or autumn actually affects like how quickly these clothes dry given that it is actually autumn and I think if you hung up your clothes like in like winter slash autumn they're probably not going to dry so I guess we'll see if it's like how realistic it actually is but we have done that now so maybe let's have a look at I don't even know fixing up somewhat of this bedroom because this bedroom needs to be fixed up in order for us to actually be able to then 
move on and get a part-time job because basically the idea that I was kind of thinking in terms of that is because you couldn't really get a part-time job if you're smelling like a little bit and if you live in a room that has like big open windows like this thing it might have quite a lot of like mildew and mold and things so we only have two windows to actually fix up in this room, so it's not actually that bad. And basically the thought process for fixing up the actual windows, which is quite like easy, I don't know if it actually is too easy, but you've basically got to get rid of this and then buy a window. So if we have a look, I'm probably going to do both because I don't think these windows are that expensive. We can just replace them with these bog standard windows here. They're only 35 each, so it's actually quite easy to do that. So the one thing that I think that I might need to change about this challenge is that if you obviously sell one of these little doorways that the doorway is actually worth 80 and the window is only 35 so you actually make money by fixing it but obviously what you would really realistically have to do is sell the doorway and then obviously subtract that amount from your total which you can use a cheat just by using money and then the amount in order to set your amount to a specific amount on there but what I'm actually going to do is just add the two windows together on a calculator and then minus the two lots of 35 in order to actually I guess what what would be easier to work this out yeah no so what I, what I can literally do is just grab the total that I have in there which is 343 I can then just basically minus off the two windows which are 35 each and that gives me 273 in total so basically what I'm now going to do is just go through and delete the doorways and then obviously we can go in and add in our windows and I'm just going to go with probably the black one the brown ones we do have a range we have like some brown ones and some white ones but I think the white ones are mainly because they have boards on the outside so it made it look a little bit better while we were designing it then we can go through and just add in our windows now I think that's about right are these actually different windows no they're the same windows yeah so that looks pretty good and then what I'm going to do is just go in and type in money and then the amount that we would have left over which is a 273 and then I can just hit enter and then that brings us back to what it actually should be so now we have fixed up all of the windows in there we can actually get a part-time job which is super exciting so now that we've sorted that part out perfect all good we can then go ahead and get a part-time job so let's see what kind of job our sim could get i am glad that we have now sorted out this bedroom so that it's a little bit better obviously it still has quite a lot of overgrown grass and mold but that is something that we are going to have to deal with once we've sorted out the rest of the house so the issue is that i also can't get a job because the internet does not work on off the grid so i can't actually search up finding a job so basically what i'm going to have to do is go somewhere that actually does have internet in order to find a job which actually makes sense for real life pretty like pretty well because obviously I don't have wi-fi and I can't afford to have like 5g or anything like that so let's go on a little trip out into the world in order to find somewhere that has a computer that I can use probably like a library or something like that we are literally just in like our bog standard city so I'm just like literally the first one that you get I didn't go into an exciting city so we're just going to go straight to our library so we are now here at our library and we can go ahead and actually look for a job this time now that we actually have somewhere that has internet access so let's have a think about what kind of job would be a good job for him so i can't even remember like massively what kind of traits he actually has let's do that first what kind of traits did we actually give this guy so he loves art he loves the outdoors he's ambitious and business savvy i guess so let's think about something that we give for that. I mean, he likes art, so maybe he could go into doing something with art, but obviously we're only getting a part-time job. So it's really unlikely we're gonna get a part-time job that involves art in any way. So we have babysitter, barista, fast food employee, manual laborer, retail employee, simfluencer, or video game streamer. I mean, so he couldn't really, the, the, the video game streamer one is interesting. So is the sim simfluencer one, because I'm guessing that you have to do that from home, but we don't have Wi-Fi at home. So he's going to have to just go do it in person. I feel like manual laborer is actually a really good one for him because he l is already building up his house. So it actually kind of makes sense that he would go and do that because he's clearly like quite good at building and stuff. So let's go do that. And he does have a low social need at the minute and he has just started speaking to the librarian. So let's do a little fun interaction with them. She's actually feeling flirty, which is, you know, it's something. So let's just 
have a little talk with her, gonna discuss local fishing spots as we did kind of pick fishing as one of his things that he can do to get money. He's level four at the minute on fishing. So I'm basically just gonna chat to her for as long as I need to before it fills up that social need that he has because obviously he is living alone. So the social need is like kind of harder to actually fulfill when he's just in his own house. What I think is wild so far is that we haven't actually been attacked by bees. Obviously some of this time we've spent in the library, but last episode, wildly, we literally got attacked by bees like three or four times and I would like literally don't understand how that happened so many times. Okay, I think after this last interaction we should be pretty good in terms of the social need. He does have like quite a low fun need as well, so I might just also quickly get him on the computer while we have a computer and then he can go ahead and just fulfill that like fun need that he has. Okay, I think that is good enough for now. We can now head back home and continue working on our house. So obviously I guess the goal at the minute is to get all of the windows as like fixed up as possible. Now this is a good idea of like how much it's actually going to cost in terms of fixing up all of those windows. But once we have got to fixing up all of the windows and all of like the massive holes in the walls and things like that then we can start looking into buying actually new furniture and trying to make the place look good. And obviously eventually once we've filled in all of those windows and things that we can fill in the cracks in the walls and things like that and we can actually get the negative like moodlet things removed which is like the uh, the negative like lot traits which is what is causing problems with all of the bugs and stuff as well. I think this is quite an easy window to repurchase so what I'm going to do is basically just see what we can actually fix up. We can fix up like big holes in the walls as well so from looking let's have a look again at our rules on how we can fill in these massive holes. So obviously we can fix the cracks in the walls for a thousand simoleons that's quite like a big one I think that's one that you'd more do later on after you've already fixed all the holes so we can fill one large hole in the wall with a thousand smodian so that's the one that's like quite expensive because you need to have an entire wall replaced so what I'm going to do is do the amount that we have here so two seven three and then we are gonna have a look so I don't really know what window I actually want to put there I want to put like a small one because obviously we do have a small window there we could just go with one of these ones which I think actually matches yeah matches pretty much the windows that we've already picked there so they're the so if we minus off 30 there, if we're going to do another one of these windows here, then I think this one's 35, right? Yeah. So minus 35. I'm just going to basically go around the room and see which ones we can actually afford to fix. Obviously, no windows in this room at the minute. It is just a load, like a massive hole, which is going to cost us a bunch to be able to actually fix up. But how many holes have we got in this room? We've got two so I'm going to minus off an additional 35, I guess, for those as well. Minus 35, minus 35. So we're down to 138. And that would basically, would that fix up all of them? No, we do have a whole, two holes over here and they're smaller windows, so they're only 30. So if we did another two there, I think those are the only ones though. Yeah, it's 30 and minus 30. So we can replace all of them and we would have 78 simoleons remaining. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to do these little ones in this room, I think. Yeah, we can do that and that. I think that was where they were. Perfect. And then we can go downstairs. We didn't have any more of these like, oh no, we got the little window here, which we can replace. We've got this little one there. Then if we go over here, we do have some more in here as well. I would actually like to obviously replace these windows too, but I don't think we can afford that at the moment just because we will only have like 70 something remaining. So we actually can't afford it. But there we go. So we've removed all of those. We can then go in and do money and then the amount that it cost us, which we will have 78 remaining. So we just have 78 smoleons remaining. I could push it a little bit further and obviously replace some of these like boarded up windows. We could actually do that because actually do we have enough? So we wouldn't have enough. We would need 80 in order to replace both of them, which is kind of annoying. So I'll leave it until we can do all four of those at the same time because we have two more down here as well. But that's looking pretty good so far. We've now fixed up almost all of our like windows. Obviously we do have these big holes. So we need to basically start making some money because we need 1000 in order to fix up the big holes in the walls. And when it comes to these massive holes in the walls, we have one down here and then we've got a 
big one back here as well. So it's only two, so it's not like too bad if you were to make this, because obviously you can make this challenge yourself. You can add in more big holes if you'd like it to be a bit more difficult. But obviously, so that's 2,000 that we basically need in order to fill in all of the holes. So let's go make some money. Obviously, we do have our job now. So when are we actually going to our job? Four days. So obviously it's part-time job, so we're not really going to be making a massive amount. But the fish look to be thriving and bouncing around over here. So let's go do some fishing. My guy is happy because he is out enjoying the wilderness and just chilling, doing some fishing. I've been invited to go to GeekCon, which I am not going to go to, mainly just because I feel like that's a little bit of a waste of time. I just got a, oh my god, I just got a sketch pad from fishing that's worth 750 simoleons. That is wild. Okay, I mean, I also got, I'm obviously catching fish as well, but that's like wild. We've almost got enough already to fill in one hole just because of one lucky catch in that while we were fishing. So we've got 856 at the moment. Very good. We are getting there in terms of the amount that we need. We are just getting piddly fish though. These like seven and eight fish, not really enough to be able to push us. Do we have, because I know like, obviously we've got a couple of things around here that we could dig up and see if we can get anything exciting from these. So let's stop fishing for a second and just go see if we can catch or like get anything else from like digging under the ground. Oh, we did just get a fish that was worth 47 though. So we are now only 90 away from being able to fill it in one of the holes in the actual walls. We got some common upgrade parts. That's only 20, but now we are only 70 away. Let's see if we can get anything else. There's some plants and stuff around. We've got snapdragons. And if I remember correctly, snapdragons are actually the ones that you need in order to get a cow plant. Ooh, he wants to have a green thumb. So he wants to like gardening, which yeah, well, that's fine. Cause that means that once we've like got to the point where we can start doing things with the outside of the house, we could make the outside of the house look really nice. We are very close now to getting a thousand. Let's see if we can find something else that's gonna give us that. Here we go. So we've got a little rock over here that's gonna give us crystals? I can't remember if that one's crystals or not. I'm pretty sure it's something like that. I absolutely love autumn in The Sims. I just love all of the like dead leaves that are everywhere around. Let's see if we get anything good from this rock here. It should be like even if it's just something small enough to push us to a thousand which means that we can fill in a hole in the wall. Ooh, perfect. Okay so it's one of those like time capsule things and it's got a little doll inside which is worth 25. So that pushes us over a thousand so now we can go over and actually fill in one of the holes. I think I want to fill in the one that's in this kitchen here just because it will I guess like make it look a little bit nicer so obviously we're gonna have three simodians remaining I am gonna get rid of some of this which is basically just extra debris from the wall and then we can go ahead and add in our actual wall here and then I'm just gonna go in and basically fill it in with the wall that we'd obviously already picked here and same thing on the inside it is much darker in there now <laughs> now that we have lost basically all of that natural lighting from outside but we have now filled in that corner of the room, which looks awesome. Then we can amend our money amount and just pop it back to three simoleons now that we've spent a grand fixing our wall. But we are getting there. So if we can just get another thousand simoleons, which I feel like is really unlikely for us to do with this still remaining daylight. How is our sim doing? I think so he needs to go to the toilet. So let's just pop him to the toilet real quick. Everything else like isn't too bad. He kind of does need some food though. So we could go grab some food as well. If you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to like, share and subscribe. This challenge is like relatively quick. I have just noticed because obviously like in one episode we've managed to do quite a lot as it's getting further through it. But obviously I think obviously we'll have to get to the point where we basically have to restart with the entire house and all of its inside furniture, which again is going to take a while to actually save up all of that. And I want to go with like, I don't even know whether I want to kind of try and stick with the older furniture or whether I would rather go with like newer furniture and make it look a bit nicer. I think what I want to do is... Actually, oh, I only have enough money for a garden salad, so he's going to have to deal with salad. But I think the plan is if we go with, like, maybe comfy furniture or, like, we could maybe stick to some of the older style furniture. Oh, he actually has nowhere that he can cook this. 
Let's move that bowl. I realise that there's like no sink anywhere that he can like, let's resume the salad now. I've moved the one thing out of the space where we need it. Yeah, I think we're going to go with like, we could go with older furniture, but again, like if you've moved into an older house, you're not necessarily going to pick only old furniture. We could stick with maybe a specific era, but I'll have a look and see what we can kind of get as we sort of build into the house a little bit. I feel like my sim is probably getting really sick of salads, <laughs> but it's like the cheapest thing that you can make. And he also doesn't have that great of cookery skill. Maybe sh I should include that at some point and just get that all up. I definitely think that we need to do a clean of this house though, because it is like gross with so many plates everywhere. We've got like some in this other room as well, which is like sort of going to be like the dining area. So let's go grab all of the bits. Hopefully he picks it all up because it's kind of scattered around the house. Yeah, there we go. So he's he's picked up. I think there's some more upstairs as well. Yeah, there's like a couple in these rooms that he's just kind of been dumping down. And then we can do a nice little wash with that. Oh no, my sink broke. No, I don't have enough. I, I have literally zero money. So he's going to have to try and fix it himself. Okay, let's try and fix it ourselves. What's the difference between use elbow grease and repair? Let's just try repair it. I don't know if like he's good at repairing things. It should be okay. It definitely. Oh, use elbow grease just for cleaning it because it is like disgusting right now. There's our little spider friend as well just chilling in this corner that spider is like massive if you look at it in comparison to like him that's basically like a small tarantula i feel like that you would get rid of that right i can admire it though i can look at that spider and i can admire it he is not very happy at the minute and it's mainly because he's really tired if i had any money in the world i think i would probably also upgrade his bed because his bed is just like this really old cheap bed okay and then we definitely need to actually clean this sink because it is disgusting there we go so now it's all clean. Let's go upstairs and actually go to bed because he is exhausted. To be fair, he has had a very long day of buying things, fixing windows. He fixed a, ho a hole in the wall. Like he did like quite a bit today. So my main goal at the moment is to get another thousand because once we get that other thousand, we can then fill in that last hole. Oh, the lottery is on tonight. Should I buy a lottery ticket? I don't know how much they actually are. How do I purchase a lottery ticket? What do I need for that? Buy a computer or phone? Okay, so I will need to again go travel somewhere. So let's go do that. We'll go back to the library, see our librarian friend if she's working, and then we'll buy a lottery ticket. This I feel like this would be rather game changing if I went and bought a lottery ticket and then won. I feel like that would be really wild for any kind of like money challenge if you just went and won the lottery and they gave you like a bunch of money. So let's go get a lottery ticket. Obviously the lottery I think is announced like in the evening. Okay, so it's a hundred. So I don't even have enough. Why did I travel all the way here if I don't even have enough? Obviously I could sell. I got this common upgrade part, which is 30. Is there anything else around this area that can make me money there's is there a fishing ground over here or something um there's a rock over here so let's quickly go over there i'm gonna sell this upgrade part even though that'd be quite nice to actually have but we'll think about upgrading things in the future there's another plant over here as well but it's a rose bush and it's not done yet we could also do some fishing over there to just gain quickly that remaining money that we need to buy the ticket oh we got a fancy crystal 90 simoleons so that's really good so that does give us enough thankfully to actually buy the ticket so let's go back to the library and go get that now. Purchase a lottery ticket. This could just be a completely waste of 100 simoleons as well, especially when we're trying to get enough to be able to actually buy like fixing up like that hole in the wall. So we have now bought our lottery ticket. Hopefully we win. That would be amazing. A drawing occurs tomorrow morning, so make sure you buy your ticket today. Okay, so we just have to wait now, I guess. And we have 20 simoleons left and he is hungry, so maybe I could treat him to getting some food out somewhere else. We could. So let's let's do that. I'm going to haggle though, just because like it would be good if we could get it a little bit cheaper. This place sells grilled cheeses, pretzels, hot dogs. Those look like fries. That again kind of looks like grilled cheeses, but slightly different. Burgers, tea and sodas. I like how like their logo is like apples. Like it kind of looks like they sell apple cider. Let's go grab some food. See if she's going to give us a discount. Oh, 25% off. Perfect. I am now starting to get stinky again. So we do need to quickly get this food and get home. So I am thinking we could go. Well, I mean, we've got like literally all of these. Let's get a lobster roll because that sounds delicious. And I would love a lobster roll. And for only seven simoleons, who can argue? That just 
just looks like a hot dog, but sure, that's fine. Let's go eat a hot dog and then we can get back and use our shower for the first time because we haven't actually done that yet. I'm excited to use it given how long it's taken for us to actually get it. I'm gonna sit in the library and eat my lobster roll. That looks super strange. Is that lobster? It's like lumpy. Okay, so we have eaten our lobster roll. Absolutely delicious. He needs, okay, so he needs the toilet and he needs like to have a shower, but that's absolutely fine. He's now happy that he's eaten food that didn't taste awful because he's been eating like primarily just salads for the past like week. So we are back home now and our laundry does actually look to be dry. So I'm going to go put that away. I don't think it's technically being put away. We have nowhere to put it. I actually don't even know if it's going to let me do that. Let's see if it does. We've got Harvest Fest tomorrow as well. Let's go ahead and do this before we go in inside and actually get clean and things as well. Then once we go inside, we can go ahead and use the toilet and actually use our shower for the first time, which I'm excited about. Our bathroom is looking a little bit grody at the minute because we do have these parts that I didn't put away anywhere so they're like a little bit gross and we do have this like big old puddle on the middle of the floor as well. Let's use our shower for the first time. I'm super excited for this. Oh our clothes are like gross. Let's go ahead and do some more laundry. I'm then just going to do like a quick tidy up I guess of this room. Just do some mopping, scavenge for some parts after like you know putting our washing away and stuff. Doing the washing up actually increases the amount of water literally all over our floor. I think it might actually be a better idea to put this bucket outside given that how much water goes all over the place when I do it. So I'm going to go hang up our clothes on our clothes line again and then we can come back over here and chuck the water and then I'm just going to quickly scavenge for some parts just because it's there and then I guess we also need to chuck out this stuff as well. I can't actually throw it away though is it? it's because I don't have a bin. We have 14 coins. If I sell this I can buy us a bin. Let's splurge a little bit. Let's get a bin. I feel like it's probably a good idea. If you were to be fixing up an entire house then you would kind of like need a bin. Mainly just so that you could chuck away all the bits and things but bins are surprisingly expensive which is kind of annoying. Let's get this cute little wicker basket. This one's quite cute and I'll just pop it. We'll pop it in the kitchen for now in that little gap in the corner. Can I now throw away these parts? Yes, perfect. He is like super unhappy with how dirty his house currently is. So let's just quickly go do a mop up. What's he feeling? Why is he unhappy? Wash that arms from washing laundry in, but yeah, that's fair. He does it a lot. He is now gonna just mop like a bajillion puddles out of this bathroom. I am thinking maybe we should move that tub outside, so I'm gonna do that now. We can just put it like over here next to like sort of next to where we have our washing line. I'm gonna put it there. Then I'm going to go and admire my spider. He is still really uncomfortable, but that will be over in like an hour or so. So now let's get back to trying to make some money. We definitely need it because we need to try and get another thousand. So I'm gonna go do some fishing. We're gonna check out this rock that's over here as well. I'm pretty sure it contains fossils. Let's see if we can get any expensive fossils. We managed to find another time capsule, so that's pretty good. That's gonna get us some more money if it's actually got anything that's expensive inside it. 25. Okay, so that's not amazing. It could have been a little bit better. Probably would have been better to get like, I don't even know, like crystals or something. That would have been much better. Now let's do some fishing in order to get some more money. We definitely need to just be hamming for money right now. Obviously, we do start our job in a couple of days, which is pretty exciting. That's definitely gonna help bring in some money. Not too sure how much it pays. I'm sure that it pays like garbage, but I'm kind of hoping that it does actually give us enough money to at least get us part of the way there. But for now, I'm just gonna sit him here and he's just gonna fish until he doesn't wanna fish anymore, which is probably when his hunger gets a little bit lower. Oh, we are now level five on fishing though. That's exciting. Okay, he's feeling pretty happy at the minute, but all of his needs are basically just like dropping. So let's go ahead and just fulfill some of those. And then after he's kind of like gone to the toilet and done a couple of bits, is this, there's a lady at my door, but I'm just gonna ignore her. We're gonna go ahead and sell all of our things that we caught today. We caught three whole bass. Feels like I'm playing Animal Crossing. We're gonna remove those. How much is this thing? 325. Okay, so that's quite good. I think it's a future cube, isn't it? So now we've got 478. So we're actually really close to being able to get to that 1000. We're almost halfway there. He is feeling sad and that's because he hasn't got anyone to speak to. Maybe I should go speak to her. Friendly introduction. Is she a vampire? I don't know if she's a vampire. I don't know any of the like people very well by name in this because I don't play that often. Oh, he's feeling sick. Why is he sick? Oh, nauseated from the lot trait. That makes sense. 
his house like is a bit gross. I like how you can sing about lottery tickets. Oh, is she here like to discuss like neighborhood changes or something with me? She just had like one of those little tablet things out. Well, I conversed with her a little bit. She is definitely a vampire though, because non-vampires don't do that. Let's go quickly do some cooking. I can't cook any of these things. I think it's literally just because I don't have like the means to be able to do that. Something else that I'm considering like buying into. Oh, I can actually make lobster rolls, but they cost eight. They only cost like one less with at the discounted rate that I managed to get it before. She has like come into my house though now though i thought vampires like couldn't come into your house unless you invite them but she's just like coming i guess we do have like a massive hole in our wall so it's not really like a house right it's like partly a house to make it a house does it need to not have holes in the walls so we've made a lobster roll i'm gonna eat that and then we're gonna definitely get to sleep after that oh she's here she's chilling with me i thought that she'd like left i saw her like go upstairs somewhere but i'm gonna like talk to her for a bit longer but she might turn me into a vampire and i don't want that the lottery was awesome had a wonderful time but and did everything as planned? Did I win anything? I'm assuming not, given that like I didn't get any money. We're just gonna have a little bit of conversation before I head off to bed. He's not very happy, I don't know why, but I'm just filling in that social need that I feel like might be the reason why he's not that happy. I mean, it's also that he's tired, so maybe I need to go sort that out. So let's get him upstairs and to bed. Now he's feeling energized, even though he's like really exhausted. So I have no idea how. I think it's just because he was talking to someone for a while. But I think on that note, we are gonna call it there for this episode today guys i think that we have done very well so far with what is going on so we have a brand new job we filled in a bunch of holes like it is going really well so far i think that this challenge is definitely getting ahead with everything that we are doing we have obviously filled in a very large hole in our wall we have also managed to fill in all of our windows which is super good we are getting there i do want to replace some of the ones that have just boards in front of them though and obviously we do need to fill in some of the doors and things like that as we just have archways but i think that we are definitely getting there with actually sorting out this house hopefully in our next episode we can get to actually putting some furniture in and we can fill in our final large hole in the wall but if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already i post long content like this every wednesday and friday at around 6 p.m and i post shorts the rest of the week if you enjoyed this episode the series link is on the screen now as well as a recommended video so check that one out too and i hope you all have a great evening